Hey guys, this is Howard Ubertech, and today's video is going to be about the wrap that I put around my B&T arm brace. In one of my videos, somebody had made a comment, wanted to know more about it, so I'm making a quick video about this. Uh, when I purchased this stuff, it was purchased through Amazon. It came in a 12 pack with a variety of different colors. The reason why I purchased this was because it doesn't stick with adhesive, it just sticks to itself and doesn't stick to anything else. So uh, that was a huge plus for me. I put it on here thinking that it would just look cool and it does, but I noticed when I put it on, it has like a nice grippy texture to it. So it gave me an idea that I can actually put it on a magazine like this, because this is smooth and it's made out of plastic. This will give it more of a texture. So when you have to yank out the magazine, it's not gonna slip in your hands. Uh, also, it's nice because it gives it a little bit of a cushion, so when it does hit the ground, it's not plastic on you know, gravel or cement. It's got a little bit of a cushion between it. Same thing with the SCAR magazines. These are made out of aluminum, and they're kind of slippery as well. You could use the same method, just wrap some of this stuff around here, and it'll give it some grip and a little bit of a cushion. So then it also gave me another idea. We all have these nondescript black magazines in our house. And I know for me, I have two different types of ammunition in them. So I could just take one of these wraps and wrap it around here and say, okay, this color camo means that I have green tips in here. So again, nice little, nice little benefit to having that. You don't absolutely need to do that, but hey, it's a visual aid and it helps you just look at it and you can know before you even pick up the magazine what type of ammo is in there. Let's take some of this stuff and wrap this magazine. Let's see how it goes on. So let's just put this here. Take some of this stuff. See, it doesn't really stick to this either. See, that's how you could tell there's no adhesive, but it sticks to itself. We could start it by, let's do this and wrap it around. What I did notice was that if you give it more of a stretch, like see how I'm stretching this, and then lay it over, then it sticks a little bit better because I think when it pulls itself back, it kind of grabs onto itself. All you do is rip it like that and you're done. So again, if I don't like the way it looks, I could take this off, put it on something else because it keeps sticking to itself. So see how I took that off and then I lay it back down. Boom, it's sticking again. So you don't have to be worried about like, oh man, I have to get this you know, right the very first time I do this. You just take your time and put it on. If you don't like it, take it off, redo it. So let's put that aside. The other thing we could do is try to apply some to this um, scar stock. So, then, so if we want, we could take some of this stuff and we could wrap it any way we want. One of the things I would suggest doing is not to cover some of the QD points if you're gonna use them. If you're not gonna use them, then cover them up. Doesn't matter at that point but you could wrap it like this. Now the one thing I will say is that when you do wrap this, it's gonna cover up some of the buttons to operate the stock. But if this is how you have it set and you don't really mess with your settings, it doesn't really matter. You could just cover this up.
there you go. Now, if I don't like how that looks, I could take it right off, reapply it. So it's just on, let's say this part right here, and then this is uncovered. You could do that. But the great thing is, is that this stuff will stick to almost anything because again, you're wrapping it around something. It doesn't have to, it's not really gonna stick to it. So if let's say this, this grip is not grippy enough for you, the texture isn't great, you could just add some of this. And that's it, you're good. Gives it a little bit more grip. That's actually, it feels nice. The one nice thing about this pack is they give you so many different colors. Uh, some of these colors, like these two, actually there's one other one, this one as well. I don't see myself using these on any of my guns, but you could use it on anything really, like a flashlight or anything that you think needs a little more texture or needs some type of protection. You could put this on here and it won't scratch. So let's say if you had a flashlight, you don't want it to scratch it up for some reason. Well, there you go, you can put it on there. All right guys, I'm gonna give you an up close look at each one of these rolls. So you could see what it looks like. This is like a woodland. This is black, but if you put it on kinda could see through some parts more than others so I'm assuming it'll look more camouflage ish when you put it on something here's the one I had on my B&T just black gray and white the next three are I would say like really dull so there's this Another one, another one that's really dull. It's like very muted. And then these colors are more standout-ish. So you got your green, black, tan, and orange. Dark green, black, and tan. And almost the same, just slightly different color green and some other darker tans. And then the next three are the probably the brightest. So it's the bright blue with black and white, pink, black, white, and it looks like it's got a little ghost on it. <laughs> Last but not least, you have the very bright neon colored green uh, so it's got a few different types of green and a black color and that's it So one thing I did notice is that let's say you don't want to use this anymore because you like that color on your stock Or you just want to switch it up or whatever you could take this which was originally on that stock and put it back on the roll that it came from Just like this and because it sticks to itself it just goes on and it stays there. So you could just wind up using this for something else later on down the line. So it's pretty sweet. You're not wasting anything. And then it's back on the roll that it came from. So I definitely say it's worth it. It was only like $9 and 66 cents. So for $9, let's just say 10, for 10 bucks for all the colors that you get, and the infinite amount of stuff you could do with it. I mean, to me, I think it's totally worth it. So to wrap up, I mean, I think this stuff is good. It just depends on what you have in mind to use it with. I think the ideas are endless. Uh, I'm basically gonna just use it for this and maybe if I get more magazines, I'll put it on there. But for the most part, not really liking how that looks on there. I'll probably take that off and just leave it as it was. This, I like how it looks. I'll probably take that off and swap the colors around here and there, but for the most part, I think it was a good buy. So guys, if you're interested in picking some of this up, I'm gonna put the link in the description. 
And also while you're down there, why don't you drop a comment and tell me some of the ideas you have for using this stuff. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up. If you haven't already, please subscribe. And until next time, I'll see you in the next one.